My name is Melvin, and welcome to the Night Time to Pass with me, Melvin. This is a stupid-ass cold opening. I don't know what I was going with. You're in the chaos that is Doom Eternal. You feel the monsters closing in on you, and all seems lost. Suddenly, Doom Guy bursts through the wall. All the monsters turn to look at him. He loads his gun and says, It's Raw XD time. Bubble wrap, but there's terrified faces printed out of the bubble so you feel morally challenged popping them. Did you mean horny? I would love to study you. Uh, I go into Tumblr hiatus every few months. And every time I come back, I see this dumb shit immediately. Can you just shut up and enjoy the fact that all of our icons are yellow for a second? <sighs> oh my god, they are. People who wear glasses. How do you keep them clean? We don't. Our glasses aren't clean. We just had to learn to see through the dirt. We had to grow stronger. Survival of the less blind. All right, bear with me. Is Ovo a variant of OO, or in fact, someone wearing the Plague Doctor mask? Oh, do you got the Plaguey Waggy? We've got to fix that before you die. I regret everything. Here's a tip for you. Carry a fork with you. If someone tries to rob you, pull that fork out of your pocket and say, thank you, Lord, for this meal I'm about to have, and charge at them with the fork. Street smarts! Apparently, the dude who started Netflix did so because he got a $40 late free from Blockbuster and was pissed. Pettiness is the greatest motivation in the world. In 1888, Almond Brownstronger, an undertaker, noticed he was losing a lot of business to the other undertaker in his town. He found out that the other undertaker's wife was a telephone operator. When she intercepted people asking to be connected to Stronger's funeral home, the operator would route the call to her husband's funeral home instead. Three years later, Stronger patented the Automatic Telephone Exchange, a system which allowed telephone users to make calls without the need for human operators. Holy shit, he destroyed a whole workforce! Younger me? Why am I so obsessed with gay people? Older me. <gasps> I am a gay people. You know, sometimes I think I'm arrogant, but then I remember that Julius Caesar was kidnapped by Sicilian pirates, and when they demanded a ransom of 620 kilograms of silver, he got mad because he thought he was worth more than that, and he made him raise it to 1,550 kilograms. He has also recited his own poetry to them. Dude, this is why you got stabbed by all your friends. Do fucking shit. Can they please make a dishwasher with a transparent door? I want to see what's going on in there. This is disrespectful. Let the dish elves have their privacy. Fuck going on in there, Sam. You making a weed? No, don't look at me. I don't have any socks on. I'm immodest. Reverse harem. But the MC is a cute old lady who loves spoiling the very young and very hot boys to death because she's never had grandchildren. The guys are all fighting over her because it's the most genuine love and validation they've ever received in their lives, and they also low-key want to be adopted by her. This isn't a harem. This is just competitive found family. And I'd fund the shit out of it. Hit me up if you want to make this show. Okay. If K is an abbreviation of OK... And some people call their grandfather Pop. Does that mean K-pop can be used as OK Boomer? Family isn't just genes and DNA. Family is a Discord server full of gay nerds that send each other memes. You know that according to Schrodinger, anything you put in a box is both dead and alive. Everyone at the funeral. <laughs> Schrodinger would have hated this interpretation of his work and I am here for it. He might be rolling over in his grave. Or not. Do you ever catch a whiff of a scent that smells unmistakably of something really random? Like the 23rd day of first grade and you're like, How did I remember that? Someone actually put this into words! For your consideration. The world is broken, and I'm sad because there's nothing I can do to fix it. The world is broken, but there's an odd beauty in the dark parts. The world is broken, I'm angry, and I'm gonna fight to fix it! Maybe the world is broken, but I got a fucking trumpet! Today I learned Vikings used the bones of slain animals when smithing new weapons, believing this would enchant the weapon with the animal's spirits. This actually made the weapon stronger because the carbon in the bones coupled with the iron made a primitive version of steel. Fuck off, egghead. It's because of bone magic. Behold, I'm an ox now. <laughs> I can't decide what's better. 
Elves being tricked out versions of humans or the races having similar appearances, but completely different physiologies. An elf goes to a human hospital and the doctors are like, Holy fuck, you broke our blood typing machine! Sir, the, the results are in and technically, you are a fungus. What is your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit of photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Doom guy is a bottom. Like I said, raw XD time. I can just hear all the people saying, Seymour, for the love of God, stop!